Today's video is going to be a little random. My husband's out of town, my mumsy is staying here with me, and that's about it. So let's do a little day in the life. This was all recorded on a good old Monday, January 9th. It was a little bit of a slow day, so here it goes. Hey y'all and good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Gypsy Wife Life. So today's video is just gonna be random. I guess like a day in the life, I'm gonna film whatever me and my mom do today. So Alan is gone on a work trip and my mom is staying here with me. So I woke up this morning and turned on the coffee pot, made my mom and me a cup of coffee and we've been watching The Real Housewives of, I can't never remember the name of them. Anyways, um, I just went and checked the mail cause I got a notification that I got package in and it's sitting over here on my bed. I just opened it and I want to share it with y'all before the rest of this day gets started. This is from a brand called Fast Blender. Hope I am pronouncing that correctly. This is a nine in one professional mask mixing bowl set. And then over here we have a purifying peel off mask. It has tea tree oil, alginate extract, menthol, burdock extract, and marine silk. First, I figured I would do a little unboxing to see what all comes in these packages and then I'm gonna be trying it out today. All right, so in this box here, we've got the nine in one professional mask mixing bowl set. How cute is this? It came in this little plastic carrying case. I love that because it's reusable. I can use it for these items or for anything I like. I am loving it. Wow, so look at everything that came in that little package. So we've got two silicone brushes, which is probably for applying the mask. These are so nice. I don't have anything like this. Oh, I love them. They're gorgeous. So we've got two silicone brushes. This here is actually a makeup removing pad. That is awesome. I can't wait to try this out. We've got a measuring cup. We've got a measuring spoon. We've got a spatula. And then here we have two silicone mixing bowls. So this is gonna be for the mask. I love these. These are so cute. So next up, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the peel off mask. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay, so in that box, we've got eight pouches of the purifying peel off mask. This mask is made with natural ingredients. It's hydrating, relaxing, and super satisfying. It has alginate, which is hydrating and regenerating, dead sea mud, which is purifying and detoxifying, burdock extract, which is also detoxifying and it tightens your skin. It has menthol, which is refreshing and relaxing, and tea tree oil, which is also purifying and helps to fight acne. Additional benefits of this mask is it gently removes impurities. It helps to minimize pores and reduces acne and blackheads. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my hair nice and tight so it doesn't fall down and get into my mask. I got a bottle of water, that's what I'm gonna be mixing this with. Got all my bowls and all of my tools. I'm so excited for this. All right, so the first step is opening this up, obviously. I'm gonna pour it into my cute little bowl here and pour, pour it to 90. Pour it in my bowl and then it says to mix immediately. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix her up. I am gonna be so beautiful. Ooh, she's getting thick already. I can't wait to apply this with my handy dandy spatula. Oh, cannoli's in the shot. Good morning, Miss Cannoli. So we're gonna apply this mask and leave it on for 15 minutes. I'm gonna have this link down below if you guys wanna check it out. It's gonna be in my description. The brand is Fast Blender, like I said. Okay, she looks like she's mixed good, so. Ooh, she getting thick, thick. Oh my gosh, this feels amazing. And it is cold, but it feels so good on my skin. But that's my fault, because I used that cold bottle of water. It feels so refreshing though. It smells really refreshing as well. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and get this going. I just put it up in my nose. That is awesome, not. <laughs> All right, so I just got my mask applied. Oh my gosh, it is in my nose, but that's okay. So anyways, the instructions say to leave this on for 15 minutes, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's try to get this all off on one peel. Ooh, I am loving this already. Very satisfying. She already breaking. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my skin looks nice. Hello. All right. 
So we got a little piece here, that's okay. Okay, I didn't do it thick enough over here for it to be able to peel off, that was my fault. Thank God, this does not hurt whatsoever. It is so soft, so it's not like one of those peeling masks that's like ripping out your baby hairs and ripping your skin off and you're like, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? Nothing like that at all, which is making this beyond pleasant and it actually feels really nice. It's super soft. I think it's because it's so thick as well, but it must just be that formula. <laughs> okay, I can already tell like my skin looks gorge. Don't pay attention to all of this. Just look at my skin. It just looks nice, smooth, purified. It's, I'm loving this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse all of this off. Let's get this off and then um, we're gonna take a look at my skin one more time after it's rinsed clean. And then it's gonna be breakfast time, y'all. Okay, so I just rinsed my skin off just really fast. All of that excess stuff that was still there came off. I absolutely loved this mask. Y'all know I love any kind of skincare, but I loved this mask. It was extremely satisfying, relaxing, and like I said, using the cold water made it feel even better but my skin just looks so nice i love it love the results that was like instant results and i think it looks amazing so yeah like i said i will have all of this linked down below if y'all want to check it out i definitely cannot wait to try this again and when alan gets back home off this work trip i'm gonna make him try it as well because i think he would actually love this Kiki. Doesn't Kiki look so cute laying by all my little stuff? Hey girl. Hey girl. Oh yes, yes girl. Model. Pose. Stretch. So cute. Oh she's so precious. Alright anyways. Now it is time to get some breakfast going because your girl is starving. I feel amazing. My skin feels amazing. I feel so refreshed. But I'm hungry, so let's go get some breakfast cooking. Okay, so it's breakfast time. I'm going to be making me and my mom some quick and easy breakfast tacos. So I'm going to be scrambling up some eggs and making bacon in the air fryer. I'm also getting some eggs boiling in a separate pot because I'm going to be making us tuna sandwiches for lunch. In between all of that, I cleaned out my dishwasher so I could start reloading it with all of my dirty dishes from cooking breakfast and stuff. So yeah, for the eggs, I just scrambled them in my little frying pan and the bacon was cooked in the air fryer. It's super easy to do and less messy. And for the tortillas, I just warmed them up in a pan with a little butter and I made a little egg and bacon tacos. Then after eating breakfast, I started making the tuna. I'm not really explaining how I make the tuna because God knows I've already done that a few times in my videos and I'm not trying to bore y'all with those details. But after I got done making the tuna, I just put it in the Tupperware and then I put it in the icebox till we were ready for lunch. And after that, I started cleaning up my mess in the kitchen. I did a little sweeping. I didn't do a full cleaning in the apartment today because we had some errands to run. So I just did a quick little cleanup so it would look somewhat decent in here. Yeah.
Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Just took my hair out of the towel and put some hair stuff in there. I'm gonna throw on some eyebrows really quick. Um, I have to go and get some labels printed out to send some packages off. So I'm just gonna do bare minimal, which is eyebrows, and we're just gonna roll with it. Huge difference as you can see I've got one eyebrow on now I need to do the other brow I'm gonna do that off camera and then find something to wear um, trying to let my hair air dry I might blast it real quick with a blow dryer just because it's kind of cool outside I don't want to get sick um, yeah and then we're gonna hit the road here I am so I got some yoga pants on a tank top a hoodie some socks, I'm gonna throw my tennis shoes on. I've gotta go get these labels printed out and then I have to go send some packages off, but this is my look of the day. Eyebrows, nothing else. I'm over it. I don't need it today, I'm done. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. Okay, so we went and sent some packages off and then we also stopped at Walmart cause we needed to pick up a few things and now it's time for lunch. So I'm making us some tuna sandwiches and we had a little bag of sour cream and onion chips with that. We ate it on the couch and watched TV. It was a nice little relaxing lunch. Then after that, I decided to make a little cake. So I am using my Dolly Parton cake mix. This is the banana one. Now you can make this cake regular, just how you would normally make a cake, or you can do it the Dolly way. The instructions are on the back. So I'm just gonna follow that and do whatever Dolly says to do. But I do have something to say. So I was wondering, can someone out there contact Dolly for me? Seriously, I'm kind of upset with her. I know it's not her fault, but it kind of is. So I made this cake using my my hand mixer. I've had this hand mixer since I first got married in 2014 and it's been with me all of this time. But since Dolly said to mix pudding in the cake mixture, for some reason the mixture got so thick that it broke my hand mixer and I'm pretty sad about it now. That hand mixer has helped me make so many things for me and my husband on so many occasions. I mean, that's how I make my mashed potatoes, Dolly. So what am I supposed to do now? Smash them by hand? Cause I ain't got the strength, girl. So basically what I'm saying is Dolly Parton owes me a hand mixer. But anyways, I have to tell y'all something. I am not that great at baking and I'm not that good at decorating cakes. This cake turned out so ugly. Dolly actually suggested to add some Nilla wafers and banana slices on top, but ain't nobody got time for that, okay? I wanted the cake like ASAP. So anyways, it didn't turn out pretty, but I have to tell y'all that this was the most delicious cake I've ever had in my life. Super banana-y. If you like banana flavor, please make this cake. It's so good. It was very moist. I know I hate that word too, but it was. It was just absolutely delicious. If you like banana stuff, you have to try this. So anyways, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.